Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, October 27th, the feast day of St. Frumentius. Uh, he was a 4th century bishop and confessor and apostle to Ethiopia, and he is the patron saint of the kingdom of Aksum, which is located in northern Ethiopia. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 13, verses 18 through 31. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then he said, What is the kingdom, kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a person took and planted in the ground. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. Okay, so pretty short and sweet today. Um, Jesus gives us two parables uh, to, to help illustrate the, the future of the kingdom of heaven itself, um, uh, but then also just the, uh, you know, not only the kingdom of heaven, but any act of kindness. Um, so he puts us puts it in perspective of this super small mustard seed, and if anybody that's ever made bread, which is kind of a lost art, I guess I don't know. I there's not as many people make homemade bread anymore, but you only take just a little bit of yeast, or if you make uh, maybe if you make wine, you don't put that much yeast in it. Um, but even though it's a super super small amount, what happens? This mustard seed mustard seed turns into a huge. Uh, bush that the birds can rest on and then the the yeast forms this huge loaf of bread where it makes this alcoholic wine um, after it formats um, which we all know the importance of wine used often in scripture as well so uh, you can see that uh, Jesus is trying to teach us not to be deceived by size um, and to know that greatness always starts small and you never know what kind of impact it might have. Um, in fact, if you put it in the realm of eternity, Jesus was only here himself in public service and ministering to others for three years. In the grand scheme of things, three years is not that long. Um, and then just look what happened uh, from that. Um, we were all saved from our sins, of course. and We all have the opportunity to now go up into heaven. Um, so Jesus himself had small beginnings. So we, and that's really the challenge today relative to, um, size that things, you know, oftentimes we think, ah, oh, it really doesn't matter. It, this doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Um, uh, but it really does. Uh, small acts of kindness, uh, you can make all the time. Um, maybe a small gesture, maybe just a small, simple smile, um, or maybe a small financial donation. Um, you never know what, what what God can do with it uh, and how it can affect somebody else's life. So uh, that's the challenge in relation to other people. Uh, don't fall under the trap of thinking little things don't matter. And keep in mind that the best relationships and marriages and whatever, um, all those little acts of kindness, all those little things matter. And that, what does Mother Teresa always say? Do small acts of kindness with great love. And then uh, we can change the world. So we need some more love in this world. So have a great day. God bless and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit, amen.